Hey guys, my name is Jason with SJ Forest Products. And on today's video, I got to get ready for planting. I'm replanting about 8,000 trees on my wood lot here. And that's going to happen tomorrow. But there's a few trees out in the planting area that I want to harvest before we get planted. And I've waited, of course, till the last day to do it. So let's go get these couple of trees. I got to go knock them down, buck them up. And then unfortunately, my skitter has a blown hydraulic hose. So I'm going to have to use that excavator here behind me. And we're going to try and get these logs out of the woods here before tomorrow morning. So let's see what happens. Well, here's the tree we're going to be looking at today. One of them, I guess. It's this one right here, this western hemlock. And it is dead. Died. There's actually still a little bit of green down there on the bottom, but it's, it's a goner. So we're going to take that one out. Not a bad little tree. And then over here... This tree right here is dead. And so we'll take him as well. And you can leave them for habitat trees if you want. I've got a ton of standing dead trees in the woods already here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and turn them into boards. Make something useful out of them. So let's get these two on the ground and we'll see if we can get them out of here. So here's our first one, a little bit closer look at it. All the branches are on this side of the tree. And I'm gonna try and drop it right down there in that hole. It looks like it was grown on an old stump or a log or something that's rotted away. So I'm gonna put my inner cut here on this side and then my back cut here. And hopefully it'll just drop right out in that hole. I gotta watch out, there's a stump right there. Let's see if I can do this without hitting that stump. I might pull it a little bit to the left of that stump. Well, this thing's rotten, and I don't know how far up the rot goes, and I'm really debating whether I want to take it out or just leave it for a habitat tree, because I had another tree that I was bucking up. I bucked up 30 feet before I was out of the rot, and these trees aren't worth very much anyway. So, ho Hopefully, I'm going to take it. Hopefully the rot doesn't go up too far. And we'll buck all that off and then get into the good wood. But a lot of times, I, I think I mentioned earlier, these trees that grow on old stumps or old logs, they, they get germinated and grow. A lot of times they'll have rot that goes up the middle of them just because they're, they're perched on you know wet wood while they're growing. And it, it kind of ruins the tree for a good log anyway. But um, let's take it and see, see what it looks like once we get it bucked out.
I got my face cut in there and it's not as bad as I thought it was. There's definitely some major rot in the middle, but it's not too bad. And it should be fine. Hopefully it goes up six, eight feet. We can still get a lot of good wood out of this. On these, on these dead trees, especially ones with the rot in the middle, I like to take a big, a big face cut because I don't know how much holding wood I'm gonna have. And so I, I took about half the tree. I'll come back here now and come in and hopefully it'll just tip right over. Hopefully I don't have to do a bunch of wedging and screwing around. Uh, these ones with rot in the middle scare me a little bit because you've only got you've only got good holding wood over on the edges here, here and, and over there. The wood in the middle pretty much isn't isn't worth anything for holding wood, but let's see if we can put the back cut in and I'll figure out where to put the camera so you guys can get a good view. That one was pretty dicey. I had a little bit of holding wood here. I took out the stuff in the middle that was mostly rot. Had a little bit over here and it finally went. I was another half a second and I was gonna try and wedge it over, but we got her on the ground. So let me buck it up here. I'll take two or four feet off here and see if we can get out of this rot. And then I gotta limit up.
there's gonna be a couple nice logs in here, so I'm glad I took it. But now let's go drop that other one, and then I'll get my tape and we'll buck these up into probably 16 footers so I can haul them on my trailer up to Fred's. And we'll cut some beautiful lumber out of them. Now for this one, it's leaning pretty hard to the left there. So I'm gonna try and shoot it right between those two cedar trees right out there and my skid roads right there so that'll that'll put it in a good spot for us but we'll see if we can knock this one in the right spot i'm going to take see this nasty thing here this is a nasty old birch tree that's half fallen over and i'm going to be standing right under where it's leaning so i'm going to take that sucker out of there before i cut this hemlock down
Well, a little bit of change of plan here. I flagged out my skid roads in pink. I don't know if you can see those pink flags behind me, but hopefully they won't plant in the skid roads and I can still get my skidder back in here once it's fixed. So right now I've got the log stacked here on the skid road. And so we can come in, plant, and I can still access them. So we'll get the other couple stacked up and then uh, hopefully we'll get the skidder back in here and get them yarded out.